I'm so happy to announce today he is coming to the App Store. Welcome, Mario, and please welcome from Nintendo, the father of Mario, Shigeru Miyamoto. Hello. Good morning, everyone. Thank you, team. For the past 30 years, Every time Mario has encountered a new platform, he has evolved and continued run, uh, sorry, and continued running toward a new world. And now Mario is running toward his next goal, iPhone. <laughs> Please let me speak in Japanese. So I'd like to ask Gil Toinen to translate. Very <laughs> We want as many people as possible all around the world to be able to enjoy playing as Mario. And they'll be doing it first on iOS. And they'll be doing it in a brand new game, Super Mario Run. What's the magic of Mario is that anyone can pick up a game and instantly start playing. And this time, we've made it even simpler to begin. So, why don't we show you how? Now, as the title suggests, Mario runs automatically to the right. And as he does, he'll hurdle small gaps in certain enemies. It's very simple and the movement feels great. With just a tap of a finger anywhere on the top screen, you can make Mario jump. And the longer you tap, the higher he jumps. So this is key to getting high scores. In later levels, you'll see blocks that will change Mario's direction and others that will start and stop him with precision timing. But the goal remains simple. Collect as many coins as you can and get to the flagpole at the end of the level before time runs out. But what's new this time, what's different, is that you can play the game one-handed for the very first time. And what that means is that you can play while holding on to a handle on the subway, <laughs> while eating a hamburger, <laughs> or while eating an apple. <laughs> But in addition to the traditional Mario gameplay, we've also prepared a brand new way to play. It's a new battle mode called Toad Rally. And the first thing that you do in battle mode is you choose an opponent from this list to try to beat their high score. Today, I've asked Hideki Konno to play for me, so who should he compete against? Oh, it looks like he picked Phil. <laughs> so we're going to try to beat Phil's high score. Now, battle mode will have you competing not only against your friends, but for the first time, players around the world. Victory in battle mode is determined based on the number of coins you collect and the number of toads you impress because the Toad characters appear every time you do a daring move. There's no flagpole in the battle mode, so you just keep running, jumping, and collecting coins until time runs out. As you do, you may see a little sticker of Mario moving through the course. In this case, that shows us what Phil was doing on his run, where he collected his coins and where he gathered his Toad fans. In the matches that you win, the toads you gather will become residents of your very own Mushroom Kingdom. 
So another new element you can enjoy is expanding and customizing your Mushroom Kingdom using the coins you collect in the game. Oh, at the end of battle mode, Toadette appears to tally the score and show who won. Oh. <laughs> Good job, Kono-san. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, Phil. <laughs> we want as many people of all ages to be able to enjoy playing Super Mario Run. And for that reason, we plan on releasing the game at a set price. So you won't have to worry about continuing to pay. You'll just be able to play to your heart's content. We'll announce pricing later, but Super Mario Run will release in time for holidays in 2016. I hope you look forward to it. So the we have one more piece of news. We've prepared a set of Super Mario stickers for iMessage that will launch day and date with iOS 10 that I hope you'll send to all your friends and family. <laughs> In the meantime, you can look forward to Super Mario Run. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Mario!